Welcome to the Swim Train Timer, a uh, website application by the Open Sport Project. The goal to uh, open source sporting technologies, starting with this swimming stopwatch. Primarily for coaches, so there's an overview of, of what it can do right now. So we need to add a swimmer. So click the add button. I'm going to add myself. And we asked to allocate them to a lane, and this is just to help you load batches of swimmers easier in the future. So the swimmers go in the active area. So if the swimmers there, they're active for the th for the stopwatch. And what are we going to time? We can click on the settings button. You can keep this on or off, depending on your your screen size. So here we're in training mode. Uh, there's just one of us, but we can go off race, which means everyone that's active would go off at the same time, or we can do them in these 10 or 15 second splits. But we'll keep it at 55. The strokes, and then whether we're doing a swim, kick, drill, pool, fins, paddles. And the distances, we're going to keep with the 100, but all the familiar distances that you'll be used to as a swimmer. And then we can decide our splinter, split intervals. Which we're going to say. So that's all set, we're happy with that. Coach then starts with the master stopwatch start button. And uh, as the swimmer does their first turn, this is going to be a rather fast swimmer this one, but we'll... The, uh, it's a hundred, so they're just one, so the button's changed to stop. We then click on the stop. The data is automatically saved, and uh, we can reset the counter ready for the next rep. At any time, we can click on the analysis button, and uh, for each swimmer, there'll be an analysis link. So you click on that, and we can see our time we've just recorded. And because there's only one time, we can't do a comparison with the next time recorded. So let's go and record another time. Now if we look at the analysis we get the uh, comparison, so we were slightly slower, but we still got the, the, the end times. And we can switch that on and off. So it's highly unlikely you'd be training yourself, so let's add another swimmer. And we'll put them in the same lane. So here we have two swimmers, and uh, just to show how we can get them back. So if we were to clear the active swimmers, we can then go to the load button and choose the lane to get both swimmers clear, or we could do it by name. And we want Mr. Shark. We then check the box and then close the list. And here we have our one, where we can go back to our two. So here the order comes up and for this particular set we're going to change the order so we click on the edit button and this allows us to drag the swimmers. And now you'll see when you deselect the edit button you can't move them. So this means the James is going to go five seconds after Sharky swim and we just start the clock in the same fashion. Again, both sets of data are saved, so we can reset the clock, and then this is the first data on uh, Sharky Swim, but we've already been recording times for James when he sees up to three, and we see he continues to get slower. 
Yeah, and we can clear all the analysis by clicking on the analysis edit button. Uh, so that's that's the basic release um, of of the swim timer. So hopefully you found that useful. Thanks for your attention.